Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again and in this video I shall explain the last chapter of SSC level chemistry an English version that is chemistry in our lives and this is a very interesting chapter and the content of this chapter what has been discussed if we just look for it there will have three different uh, titles or topics that this can be explained number one is domestic chemistry Number two is chemistry for cleanliness and number three is chemistry that is used in industries and agriculture. So I know that those who already studied the previous chapters, you know that in chapter 11 you will study about uh, organic chemistry and this one is about the day to daily life, what in our daily life that we are using those chemicals, we need to know a little bit about it. So this is very interesting chapter and easy one. So if you look for the first one that is domestic chemistry, you'll see that there are four different chemicals that has been discussed. So the number one is the table salt. We know the table salt or the edible salt formula is sodium chloride. This is a well-known compound, so we know that in a lot of times we actually explain these also. You know that these things are explained in case of uh, ionic compounds explanation. Number two is baking powder. We need to know that what is baking soda first and then how it's produced and what is the function of baking powder in our uh, domestic life. And in case of uh, vinegar, we need to know what is the definition the the preparation process and the function of vinegar and lastly the soft drinks what usually we drink in our daily life so in this video i will only explain about this first content and in the second video there should be some uh, different classes based on this topic that you see that those are cleanly less part of this chemistry you see that washing soda has been discussed toilet cleaner, the main functions, I mean you know that this is about the caustic soda or the sodium hydroxide. In case of washing soda, you know that uh, sodium carbonate dot tank water, I mean you know that soda ash. And then soap, you know that C17H35CONA. This is sodium stearate. We know this is a, a, a sodium stearate or the potassium stearate is known as soap. We'll study about the preparation of soap, the types of soap like laundry soap and, and the process of cleanliness. How these soaps and detergent clean things and what are the differences between soap and detergent and how it, it functions. So this too is very very important. And also bleaching powder. This one is really important. I mean, if you see the question paper, you'll have at least some questions from bleaching powder. That the productions of bleaching powder, the process of making bleaching powder. So we'll explain these things later of this chapter. Then about glass cleaner. So you see this topic or this content is under the chemistry of cleanliness. And then the chemistry in agriculture and basically in this part urea, ammonium, sulfur like the very common fertilizers and some things which is actually used in industry and agricultural sector that has been discussed. So in this part, the first lecture, I will focus only this part. Now think about table salt which is actually the edible salt. So we know that edible salt formula is well known to us is sodium chloride now you see that i mean sodium chloride is extracted mainly from the seawater so in bangladesh if you go on the southern part of the area the coastal area you will see like i can mention like the name of teknaf so when i visited teknaf so i saw that a huge plain land I mean, those are the salt cultivators that produce like a rectangular shape or the square shape dams and these shapes is working together to have an entry point entry point so each and every place there is an entry point where the tide water comes the tide water comes and then it's stored it's stored in these open space then after when a huge plain land is being filled up with this tide water then those entry points are becoming closed 
and then after a few days with the presence of sunlight these water is vaporized and then with the self evaporations then after the white salts are visible and this process is known as salt harvesting so this is a very important salt harvesting so this salt harvesting process is done in this process like uh, the closing the tight water into the stems and then with the self evaporation the salt become visible but usually what happened uh, with this salt some sands were also mixed up so it is being uh, sent to the salt refinery uh, industries and then uh, they do some sort of frenetic process inside because very simply you can think that the sands are mixed up with so when these salts are mixed up with water sands becomes the bottom of the pot and then in the upper part the salt and water mix is there so when it is separated from that and then from the vaporization process this we got the salt and then this salt is being actually distributed to our households and you know that without salt our curry that we are taking usually in our daily life is not getting tasty. So the sodium chloride is really really important for the production of ORS, you know that uh, the re re oral rehydration solutions that is sodium chloride is used for uh, the dehydration therapy. So you know that in our daily life sodium plus, I mean this is one of electrolyte electrolyte is very important so sodium chloride it has a various functions essential functions in our daily life so we are taking uh, sodium chlorides daily with our food so we know that love like salts I mean we need salts every single moment so this is about the table salt so whenever you study the part of the table salt you must consider one thing that number one the process is known as salt harvesting and sodium chloride is extracted from the seawater and the function of sodium chloride now we'll think about the second topic is baking powder so where we'll start about baking powder we need to know something that what is baking soda so let's think about the baking soda first we think that baking soda you know the formula of baking soda the baking soda is sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate so you know that this hydrogen carbonate is the radical so sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate is the formula of baking soda when uh, inorganic acid or like weak acid like tartaric acid tartaric acid is a mixed tartaric acid like a C4H6O6 is mixed with this then we'll have baking powder so for, for your for your thinking like that you must know that baking powder is produced with baking soda plus tartaric acid so what's the functions of this and before we we'll to explain this is baking, uh, this is tartaric acid and the formula of tartaric acid is this CO2H so in both cases it would be like that so H, OH, OH, H so you see that in this formula uh, there are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 oxygen so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon and one two three four five six hydrogen so the formula of tartaric acid shortly we write c4h6o6 so when baking powder is produced when baking soda is mixed with tartaric acid so now you think that how this baking powder is produced before going to explain we need to remember some series of reaction at first you need to know that this calcium carbonate is known as limestone where it is heated heated about 600 degrees celsius 
then calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is produced. Number two, you must remember one thing for that we need a brine, I mean the concentrated solution of sodium chloride which is concentrated by the blue of ammonia gas and then carbon dioxide gas. What happened? Like when ammonia, ammonia is reacting with carbon dioxide and water then it produces ammonium ammonium hydrogen carbonate just think the reaction ammonia carbon dioxide and water is together produce ammonium hydrogen carbonate now you think that that ammonium hydrogen carbonate is reacting with that sodium chloride now you think what reactions will take place here so ammonium bicarbonate sodium and chloride so ammonium will cover with chlorine and sodium will come up with bicarbonate radical and they will produce they will produce sodium bicarbonate hco3 plus ammonium chloride ammonium chloride and then this baking soda i mean this baking soda then after is mixed with tartaric acid to produce baking powder so what happened when it produced actually so sodium bicarbonate when it is mixed with the tartaric acid c4 c4 h6o6 then what is producing? It will produce C4 H4 Na2O6. Same, it's become same, only sodium, two sodium is being left there, and then it will produce uh, this is this should be two, so it will be like two carbon dioxide plus two water. So now the question can be that. Uh, what is the function of baking powder in case of why it's named baking powder you know that when baking powder is mixed with uh, the flour and then the cake becomes swelled up it becomes swelled up or the, the height of the cake becomes risen up because of this carbon dioxide just remember one thing because of this carbon dioxide if the cake swelled up swelled up so why or I mean you know that we usually know in our daily life when our our moms our dear ones is preparing cakes that we see that baking powder is being added with the flour and then do some things I didn't see it in my own eyes but uh, I love to eat cakes but because it's rising up it's swelling up because of this carbon dioxide so when baking powder and antarctic acid is mixed up this carbon dioxide will mean the main reason for the swelling up again one thing i mean yeast is one type of fungus can be added with uh, the flour to again the same results because when yeast is added with the flour and then being heated up the uh, yeast uh, will have uh, anaerobic aerobic respirations and then it produces carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide is also the responsible for the swelling up so usually the same process in this tech lecture i'm really really i want that you those are watching right now please remember the series of reaction so first this limestone will be heated to produce carbon dioxide and then ammonia will be reacting with carbon dioxide and water to produce ammonium bicarbonate and then this will be added with sodium chloride then the sodium bicarbonate will produce and then it will be added with tartaric acid is one type of organic acid or weak acid so this is the production so this is sodium tartarate sodium tartarate and then this is carbon dioxide and water okay so i hope that you know the baking powder and of course those are right now watching this tutorial please make a pause on the videos and please write down this will really really important and it will come to your question paper so now think about uh, the uh, vinegar what is vinegar so i hope you know that four to ten percent four to ten percent 
liquid solutions of uh, ethanoic acid. 4 to 10 percent ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid solution is known as vinegar. So why vinegar is important? I hope you already know that you see that vinegar is a liquid. It is used as a preservative. So how it is produced? It is produced from, uh, from ethanol. ethanol. So when ethanol, CH3, CH2OH. I hope you of course you already studied about organic chemistry. So you know the alcohol and you of course you know the the, the formula of ethanol. So when ethanol is being oxidized with the presence of acetobacter, so with the presence of acetobacter in a pot with the temperature of like this is important 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, then it produce uh, CH3. C double O H and this is vinegar. So why vinegar is working as a preservative? Because you know that when vinegar dissolves and then it will produce H plus or it's known as proton. So uh, you know that it is really it is really um, used to make a pickles. So when pickles rot, how pickles rot? When bacteria attacks to the pickles. But bacteria will not attack to the pickles if uh, vinegar is added with that because vinegar will release this proton and proton will definitely uh, kills the bacteria. So that is why uh, the vinegar is used as uh, a preservative. And lastly, the soft drinks. We love to drink soft drinks, but it's known as soft drinks because it's nothing but a mixture of carbon dioxide at cold temperature and high pressure. So when, when the carbon dioxide in case of soft drinks, we know that soft drinks is all about carbon dioxide and mix up with water to produce carbonic acid H2CO3 so this soft drinks is actually the uh, mix up of carbon dioxide with water at cold temperature and high pressure so we usually drink for this for production of carbonic acid we usually drink after taking some rich food so you see the domestic chemistry the part that I just explained number one is table salt number two is baking powder number three vinegar and number four the soft drinks so when students of English versions and work from wherever you are watching this tutorial you know that um, this chapter is very very interesting and I'm saying it again and I hope when you study it try to write all these reactions and and and, and practice whenever those who are having sort of like I don't I don't memorize these reactions my practice m once more and again and again and I hope you'll feel better because chemistry is a lovely subject so I hope that those are uh, watching right now uh, the level I'm explaining is it's SSC level so after next video I shall come up with the explanation of washing soda the toilet cleaner the soap detergent and bleaching powder so see you on the next video take care stay well and write me in the comment sections what about your feelings and any sort of recommendations i shall be much more grateful to have your recommendations in my video so take care stay well